Hello everyone, this is the doc in Japan and today I would like to talk about a recent experience that I had with zero interaction shopping. So this is a continuing episode of a series that I started on traveling in Japan and this episode is, is mostly to highlight an interesting shopping experience that I had recently. This is not an advertisement for the store in back of me. I'm not receiving any remuneration from them. I just like to share my experiences, good and bad, in hopes of providing you some useful information. So as you probably know, Japan uh, for the last 30 years has been going through this never-ending spiral of deflation. Prices are really good here because consumers are hyper price sensitive. A lot of shops and restaurants are selling things for good prices these days. In fact, better than overseas and better than, for example, Uniqlo has outlets in Singapore and Thailand and the United States and other places. And my experience having gone in a few of them is that they're more expensive. Uh, or at least the mix is a little bit different and so you end up with uh, things that are maybe twice the price. There are deals to be had in Japan. I'm not a regular customer at Uniqlo. There are maybe a few things in my outfit that uh, basics that I get at Uniqlo like these uh, light sweaters that I like and I probably come here once a year if that. I really only buy three different items from them and I only purchase them again when something else wears out. So what I noticed this year when I came to this Uniqlo, unlike my last visit to a Uniqlo was, I didn't have to interact with anybody in the store. There was no cashier. I didn't have to go to a changing room to try on the sweater. I knew what I wanted. And so basically I needed to find what was on the shelf, inspect it to make sure it didn't have any defects and head for the checkout counter, but the checkout is totally contactless. There's nobody involved. You essentially just take the items in your basket and place the basket in a machine and it counts up what you have, shows you on a screen, this is what you got, right? And then you pay and then you leave. So this is a very interesting experience. I've seen that uh, Amazon Whole Foods in the US has several outlets that are now contactless uh, shopping experiences. There was somebody on YouTube, I think his name is Strange Parts, who has a video about a convenience store in China that was totally contactless. So these kind of shopping experiences are uh, showing up in different places in the world, but this is my first personal experience with one. All the clothes have little RFID tags. I'll show you what one looks like and show you the little magic by uh, shining some light through it. Uh, then you go to the cash register, you just pop your stuff there and it counts it. Thank you for watching my last episode on traveling light in Japan. I look forward to your comments, questions, and ideas about this episode. Mata ne! ご視聴ありがとうございました